Welcome to the Market Front Lines. I'm Lindsay Melchuk. The battery world is on fire right now, with drones, EVs, and energy all taking off. Everyone's talking about it, but few are actually building the backbone that makes it all happen. Neo Battery Materials Limited isn't just part of the story. They're actually controlling critical pieces of the supply chain that will define the next decade. I'm here with Danny Ha, Senior Vice President of Strategy and Operations at Neo Battery Materials. And he's the one that's steering the company's strategy, the operations and the partnerships. He's the one making moves that could put Neo at the center of North America's battery revolution. Danny, welcome. It's great to have you sitting with us today. Yes, uh, thank you for having me and uh, great for having this interview with you. Absolutely. Let's jump straight in it if we can. Windsor, Ontario, $100 million. I mean, that's bold, Danny. What's the real strategy behind this? I mean, are you trying to corner the North American EV supply chain or is there a bigger play that nobody's asking about yet? Yes, there is a much bigger play uh, that has yet to rise from the surface. So just to give you some clarification, uh, Neo Battery is not just about EVs, but as I said in the beginning, uh, we're all about targeting the drones, robotics, consumer electronics, and anything that's battery powered. Our battery solutions can be implemented in those devices. So right now, uh, we are looking to establish a robust North American battery supply chain. And this is because at this current moment, about 77% of the world's batteries are being produced in China from upstream to downstream. All the technology, resources, and processing are, are allocated there. So what Neo Battery is trying to do is we're trying to pull out the supply chain outside of China and give end users, especially manufacturers that are in within the electronic space, a secure and resilient supply chain so that they can purchase reliable, high-performance, and customized batteries for any types of electronics products. Okay, let's push that a little bit further then, Danny. You've got a multi-year offtake agreement with a major drone and UAS battery company. I mean, that's huge. But what investors want to know, and they really are looking for that answer, again, nobody's asking, is how fast can Neo actually scale to meet this demand? Are, th- are there any risks this deal could expose in your current operations? Yes, uh, that's a great question, Lindsay. So at this current time, where we are doing all of our manufacturing is not in Canada, but it's all in South Korea. And this is because South Korea has all of the knowledge base, infrastructure, and the talent pool to execute this plan. If we were to do this in Canada, it would be a huge risk exposure. But because we do this in South Korea, Everything's established. Uh, We've already put in the equipment orders that are necessary to produce the amount of volumes uh, that uh, we can supply towards these off-take agreements. But if not just this off-take agreement, but it's also with the purchase orders for customized battery solutions. So what we are doing in South Korea is we're implementing all of the talent pool that is necessary to manufacture these materials also do the financings, and we've panned out a very well, uh, well-executed well strategy so that there are no blank holes and there's no risk that might take this project underwater. That's a great answer. I mean, neo-silicone anode technology is being called a game changer. However, I, I want to cut through the hype here and, and really, what gives you the real edge here, Danny? I, I mean, how do you stay ahead when the competition is just as hungry and innovation moves at breakneck speeds? Yes, absolutely. So where we have added our secret sauce to the silicon technology, Lindsay, is that we have top talent pool that consistently innovates by interacting continuously with the downstream partners. So this is the reason why our product delivers both on performance as well as costs. In terms of the performance, our products have an approximately 40 to 70% more capacity compared to what our competitors can manufacture in the field today. And usually uh, you think that more performance means higher costs, but actually the cost of manufacturing is also lower for our products by approximately about 30 to 60%. So this is why we are able to deliver very competitive products, especially to the Western markets, so that the batteries itself can be differentiated in all types of end-use applications. 
Well, let's flip over here a little bit and just pivot. Your market cap sits at roughly 83 million with a stock bouncing between 28 cents and $1.10 over the past year. So for those investors watching, what are the real catalysts that could launch this stock into a completely different league? Or are there hidden levers here that most investors aren't even seeing yet? Yes, uh, that's right. And Lindsay, one of uh, the main catalysts that we have for the company is from becoming a nil revenue company to an actual revenue generating company. Uh, Most recently, we've signed a lease agreement uh, to lease an operational battery components manufacturing facility in South Korea. This facility has been already producing for major automotive OEMs and global unicorn battery startups as well. So once we're able to lease this facility and we're looking to close uh, this transaction very shortly as well, we can start operating this facility again with our own parameters, our materials, and also the silicon technology that will differentiate the batteries that are being manufactured elsewhere in the world. So by producing revenues for the existing automotive clients and also for the drone manufacturers. This is what we believe will be the main catalyst that drives Neo Battery into the next stages of valuation. Well, I'm going to keep going here then. If we look ahead, commercial operations and strategic partnerships, they're clearly ramping up. So what should shareholders be laser focused on in the next quarter that could completely redefine Neo's growth story? Yes, uh, shareholders definitely should be looking out for the closing of the transaction, our operations, which was already said. But another uh, catalyst that are coming out in the pipelines are uh, the further deals that we are making with the downstream players, especially with purchase orders and offtake agreements, and especially what our CEO wants, and I think all of our investors want, is a big name player that will be putting in orders through our battery manufacturing facility. So we believe that those will be the main key pieces of catalysts and components that investors should be looking out for in the next few weeks and months. So my last question to you then is in your sector, what do you see as the biggest upside that people are definitely overlooking right now? Yes, uh, right now, Lindsay, uh, we have a bit of a frustration on the battery sector because usually people relate batteries with EVs, which is not the case at all. Uh, Even though we do like the automotive side, which takes a a bit longer time to commercialize, uh, investors should be really looking into how the overall mechanism of the electronic sector, AI, and batteries relate. The easiest way to understand this is that AI is like the brain of electronics and batteries are the heart of electronics. Let's say you have amazing brain power, but no heart. (laughs) The electronics will die right away. So there is a lots of emphasis on AI today, but that is also accelerating the demand for better performing batteries. So we highly advise investors to actually look into what is driving AI today, which is which is fundamentally batteries at the core. So that's all I want to leave our investors with today. Danny, so well said. That's all the time we do have. However, this has been a very insightful conversation. So thank you again for joining us and come back soon. All right. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Again, that was Danny Ha, Senior Vice President of Strategy and Operations at Neo Battery Materials Limited. This is a company that isn't waiting for the future. They're building it now, electrifying the supply chain and staking their claim in the high stakes world of EVs, drones and energy storage. So Neo trades on the venture under the ticker symbol NB. M. Check them out at neobatterymaterials.com and watch closely because this is one story investors will want to be plugged into. I'm Lindsay Melchick. This is the Market Front Lines. We will see you next time. 